What's going on guys, Sir Gwinter watching and reacting to season two episode four of The Boys, which is titled Nothing Like It in the World. So last episode was incredible. Like I'd say probably one of my favorite episodes of the whole series thus far. A lot of big things happened. Obviously they were out on this boat for the whole episode with uh, Kamiko's brother and things went to shit because people found where they were deep came with a giant whale and a bunch of other sharks and stuff and that was a really cool scene and they ended up killing the whale and kind of upset deep so it was cool to see him have his moment but obviously it didn't turn out in the way he was hoping because he wasn't able to stop them it was a really cool confrontation between huey and and um homelander i thought that was a really solid scene and i like how butcher stepped in and actually saved huey and then of course stormfront was revealed to be a psychopath pretty much she's crazy and i was not expecting that she is a terrible person and she didn't seem like that in the first few episodes so i, I like that little twist how they made her kind of seem very likable and then she ended up being basically another homelander but in a different way and i like how homelander sees her as like competition so it's gonna be interesting to see stuff going on between those two of them um some sort of a conflict so I'm excited for this. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, that's on my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch this. ...about the soup terrorist whose senseless attack on an apartment building... Yeah, that sucks. She's... She has to see everyone blaming her brother. That's terrible. Was anyone still alive? Kimiko, look. Who noticed... Stormfront killed 59 people? I don't know if anyone was a survivor there, maybe. They could point out the fact that it was Stormfront doing most of the killing. I didn't mean to. Damn, Frenchie. <laughs> Even snorting too much coke. <laughs> Stormfront made an appearance at a New York City park. <laughs> Look at How it. many more people have to die? You guys, I have been shouting up and down the hallways at Vaught, and you know what they're doing to stop another attack? Jack She is, is really against Vaught, even though she literally works for them. Oh my god, look at Homelander. There you are. What? No, he's seeing things, right? He's seeing things. I was beginning to worry. This is a dream, or he's just seeing things. We saw her face get melted. Melted. <laughs> oh god. So what the hell is that? What's happening there? Becca. Oh shit. Or at least our best guess where she is. Okay. You get disrespected over and over. Who is this? This is not Madeline Stillwell. Is it like a a robot? <laughs> it's definitely she's definitely just like a robot. A fembot. Like the ones from Austin Powers. The seven is your team. You nurtured them, you watered and fed them. That's at least they found a way to bring her back into the show, the actress. Even though it's not, it's definitely not actually her. What the fuck? Change back! Change back! I'm sorry! I can only hold a shape for so long before- <laughs> Change the fuck back now, doppelganger! This guy? I remember this guy. That's the hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is. Oh shit. Oh no. Maeve begged me to spare your life. Really? So I gave you a second chance, and he failed me. That's the only reason he hasn't killed her yet? No more lies. <laughs> oh my god. You go ahead and scream as much as you want. What did I do? Oh, he can kill her in seconds. Yo, look at his eyes. Anthony Starr is such a good actor. Fuck you! Huey Campbell broke my fucking 
heart worse than anyone ever has. And part of me wants to blast his fucking face off, so no, I'm not with him. But if you want to kill me because I'm not a murderer and I won't straight up execute someone, then go ahead. That was nuts. I could have killed you. You held back a little bit. You think she was actually about to before Butcher stopped? I don't know if she would have gone through with it. Hey, I'm at a rally? Like the one in North Carolina? I have to go. What's going on? Can I call you later? Are you just gonna hang out? Yeah, I... I just, I can't go back to the tower right now. Then go with him. Are you fucking insane? She can't come with us, Huey. She's chipped. So I have a second cousin who lives around there. I could tell Vought that I'm going to visit. That could work. Who the fuck's that? Is that the guy he raced against? Maybe they're trying to replace him? Shockwave is just here to talk about Vought for Tots. Mm. I swear to God. What the fuck is Vought for Tots? It's new fitness outreach for toddlers. Apparently they're getting obese. Well shit, I fucking love fat kids. Use me. <laughs> You're here. You tell him yet? Tell me what? I thought we were going to have a strategy meeting. Hey, train your out. Oh shit. You just said everything was fine. You're going to have a whole year of parades, tribute concerts. Does anyone mind if I put on some music? Frenchie's not coming with them? Oh, God. <laughs> it's like a road trip episode. That's kind of fun. It's nice to see them actually having a good time. Mother's Milk's gonna get pissed, though, I feel. <laughs> Oh shit, he got in? Oh butcher, you're gonna You're gonna get into some trouble, man. Damn. Baskin Robbins. Every Sunday after church. My pops, he'd always ask for samples. This place had 31 flavors, and that man would taste each and every flavor every time we'd go up in there. My ass was so embarrassed. I honestly really like this episode. A lot of character development. Can you draw white? You're not cleaning anything. You're just smearing shit. Got to use wet wipes. There you go. You just carry these around with you? Damn right. The fuck? No, 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 Please. They're hurt. They need help. No, no, no. This is not the time to be a soup, okay? We're low key. It'll draw attention. That's true, but... Maybe keep okay. a close eye. Come on. Come on. We gotta go. Hopefully they're okay. Is Butcher gonna make his way in? I really hope he does. Any place around here of our million bloody cameras. <laughs> I thought you were dead. I stopped looking. I shouldn't have stopped. I couldn't call anybody. I can't imagine what it must have done to you. I'm sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. Wow. It's good to see her. Still in love with him. Going out of the last scrape of ride, didn't I? That was a one time deal. What'd you say? Well, I said if he hurt you, I would kill myself in front of Ryan. Holy shit. And my last words would be your father did this to me. He seems desperate for That's a way to do it. Son, so it worked once. Okay, so that's why he can butcher alive. I was honestly not 100% sure. I saw his, his eyes glow. I thought he might. So he got no powers. No, I I mean yes, but I'm not I'm not raising him like that. Oh no. He's gonna have a problem with her son because he's a soup. <sighs> I sleep about four hours a night. I wish I slept four hours a night. I mean I'm, I'm too busy chewing my fingernails down to the quick. I don't know, whatever I don't know what a quick is, but <laughs> Yeah, what? I walk around the seven tower with this knot in my gut just wondering if homelander is waiting around every corner to kill me yeah i couldn't deal with that i would be out of there do you feel that way now
I had a feeling this would happen. Oh, they're gonna have sex? I mean, I get it, but like, there's no time for that. <laughs> You're gonna like him. He's sweet and very smart and so kind. I know you hate kids and all, but oh, I think no. that he's pretty. Oh, no, I don't. I don't hate kids. I'm a very good role model, am I? Better than Homelander, at least. And here you've been fucking living in this shithole. And I haven't been here for you. I'm gonna make it up to you. I'm really surprised he found her this episode like this. I really thought it was gonna take the whole season. I had no idea what happened this soon, but I guess they still have to get her out, though, so that's gonna take some time. <laughs> the look of judgment. Let's talk hashtag heroes so white. The numbers are rather startling. Why doesn't Vought want diversity? Wow. These are some real hardballs, Maria Menounos. But check your facts. Take the seven, for example. We've got A Train. He's a black man. We got Black Noir. He, um. <laughs> you don't even know what he is. And we have a gay hero, Queen Maeve. <laughs> Maeve here is a strong, proud lesbian with a beautiful girlfriend. Later. Shit, he knows about all of that? Oh, fuck. Well, now she's at risk. See, I heard you two talking on the phone, and it sounded a little more than friends. So I did a little digging, and imagine my fucking surprise. Okay. Shit. I ended the relationship when I joined the Seven. When I met you. Stop fucking lying to me. Holy shit. Homelander's been incredible this episode. Like, really good. Don't they make you feel all warm and squishy and patriotic? <laughs> He's gonna kill Stormfront. <laughs> How hasn't the Seven dropped her by now? <laughs> like, she just does nothing but shit talks Vought. Oh god, what is Kamiko- Yo! She's gonna do this in front of everyone? Oh shit, Frenchie's there? What the hell is he doing here? <laughs> I will say, she is a really cool villain though. My father was a lawyer. When I was a kid, something happened between my family and Vaughn, which I'd rather not talk about, but it was bad. You see, my dad, he believed in the law. We didn't know about this. So he went to work, he got after the asses. So one morning I woke up and I didn't hear those keys anymore. So his father was killed by someone at Vaught? That's why- Okay, we just learned his entire motivation in this episode, and we- I'm surprised we haven't known that yet. It was during one of those summer rains that you just knew was coming by the smell in the air. I was 11 years old. What's the trouble, man? Get out! Hey, your car was involved in a robbery tonight. No, it wasn't. Oh, that's I Liberty. Why are you doing this to me, lady? Ain't you supposed to be a hero? I am a hero for killing a black piece of shit like you. Oh my god. That is terrible. So, when that man from Vaught, when he showed up and he offered us that money, we just took it. $2,000. That's it? That's Liberty. Oh shit, she changed her- I was gonna say that, but then I didn't say it. I should have said it, because then I could have been like, oh, I was right. I f had a feeling that was Stormfront. Because Stormfront was pretty racist, and this Liberty was also. So I just put two and two together. <laughs> they all love me. Well, congratulations. This constant need to be loved by everyone is kind of pathetic, but, um... Yay! <laughs> Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not leaving. What are you talking about? Of course you are. Shit. Kid, let's go. You don't really want Ryan to come with us. Of course I do. I said I'd take him, didn't I? I not wanted to believe you. You're going to find a way to get rid of him. I know it. It, it won't be in an obvious way and it won't be right away, but you will. I kind of believe. Uh, I kind of agree with her. I, I feel like he would. For two reasons. One, it's a soup. B, it's Homelander's baby. They are not gonna let him go. That is also true. 
You were always one, one bad day away from pounding someone to death in a parking lot. He's always been like that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Why does no one put their seatbelts on in movies? <laughs> I know there's like no cars on the road, but still. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. That's not good. We can't do that again. No, 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 we can't. Why, though? I mean... <laughs> we can't afford to feel good or to feel safe. Until you bring down Vaught, I guess. I believe the secret to a great relationship. What the fuck is happening here? Also very sexual. Oh, it's with Deep. If that's what it's for. That it's is, just been for Deep. Hurry. Her, Gianna, I choose her. I mean, she's the one, no question. No, she isn't. Wait, what? She was like, hands down the winner. It was not even a contest. It's Cassandra. Cassandra? The one, the one with the hair? Yes, that's your wife. What? What is this for? Why is he getting married to some random woman? Oh, was it like a fake marriage? Just to get back in the seven? I guess that's what it is, yeah. This poor shape-shifting guy has to do this all day. I'm assuming it's against his will. I don't think this guy would just want to do it for fun. I don't need anyone. Oh no, he's gonna kill him. By myself. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Like what you see? I'm gonna suck your cock so fucking hard. So <laughs> he looks kind of excited. I, I don't know how they managed to up the weirdness. Like, throughout the show, it just gets weirder and weirder. Oh god, he's gonna kill him. I don't need anyone. I don't need you! Oh my god. Wow, okay, that was a great episode. That was a great one. It was very much character development focused. Like, a lot of development. Uh, the road trip was really fun, and then it got really sad and gave us a lot of new information, specifically on Stormfront. Um, the fact that she went by Liberty in the past, and I guess... I, I guess her, like, name was, you know... Like, people found out what she, I guess, did, maybe? So that's why she changed Stormfront, just to be safe. And so it's going to be interesting to see what happens from there. Butcher trying to get back Becca. I liked a lot of those scenes. Those were really great. And I like how she realized that he probably wouldn't want to have Ryan around. And that kind of changed her mind about leaving with him. Which makes perfect sense. And then Homelander... Probably some of the best stuff I've seen from him in the show in this episode because a lot of development with him, like a lot of development with him understanding himself and what he thinks he needs to be the best he can possibly be because he, he keeps seeing like Stormfront as competition and it's just pissing him off and he has this weird thing going on with the shapeshifter and he realizes he doesn't need that, that's not going to help him be better and I really like that character, I, I really like what they have been doing with him. He's just so fucking evil and, and crazy, and it's just, it's really entertaining to watch. And Anthony Starr it kills it, kills it in that role. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.